you don't have to film this. This isn't. This is a question though. The one o'clock. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Why couldn't I just with taking kind of this new swing that I've I've been working on? Why can't I just say one o'clock is my parallax? And just swing at that. Well, you can. I mean, if or, or so in other words, when I'm coming out trying to get the feel. If you know, twelve o'clock's the target. Why don't I just start out at the parallax and just till I get it? That's what I do. So, and then I gradually, I gradually work one o'clock back to yeah the other or, side or of maybe the on one thirty. Oh, that's fine. And then just work it back until I got it. That's fine. But my only worry with that is because I've heard all my life I play from this stuck position and flip my hands and that if I do anything that feels like my swing is going out to the right, then I'm not doing the swing that has the club oh, okay, in wait. front of me. Right, well, okay, wait, let's talk about this because you've spent, we've only spent a year or two doing this. <laughs> if you got turned like this, and you came from in here, club work that way, you're okay. Because it, it, this is what kills you. When the club gets behind your hands like this, and you flip it to catch it up, if you're coming way from in here, but the club's working this way, it's working over your hands. It's just working more from inside the target line. The killer is any time the club starts to go this way and you get going that way. That's what you lived with. You don't do that anymore. Your, your club now works this way almost every time. It works this way. So whether you started on this arc, or whether you started on this arc, or whether you started on this arc, we're still good. That right there That's, is not behind me. It's not behind you. So then, then maybe I've never understood what behind you really is. Behind is when you get to waist high on the downswing, when the club shaft gets parallel to the ground, or uh, I don't like it anywhere up in here, but when you get down where the club shaft's parallel to the ground, if it's in line with your hands, like this, it's not behind you. It's in line with your left arm, and all it's got to do from there is go like this. That's not behind you. Now, this, take a hold of it, this, which is what you used to do before, your hands came up, that is behind you. Now we got a real serious problem. This is not behind you. The club is coming more from the inside and it's coming shallower into the ball, more from the inside of the target line, but it's not behind your hands. It's not a flip. Just had the aha moment right there. Okay. <laughs> no, serious. <laughs> okay. And I would surmise I'm not the only guy on this site that doesn't fully understand what behind you and stuck really truly means. Because the club's always coming from behind you once you get it up to your backswing. Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. And your wrists are never unhinging in the downswing. If anything, if anything, the force of the club acting on your hands, if anything, it's going to hinge your wrists more as you start down. But what you don't want to have happen is if it does hinge them more, you just don't want it to fall this way. That's why you're, you're, the handle's coming down and you feel like you're offsetting or pushing, directing the momentum out this way because you don't want it to go that way. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, if you swung out, clear out over this, take a hold of it. If you twisted and you got clear out like this, but the club was, that club's behind you. You're stuck. And you're over the top and stuck. You want to talk about, there's a lot of people that play from here. And there's people who play from here. Well, neither one of those are good. You so, just, dude, isn't it really just hit the ball with your left hand, with your left arm? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Well, that's what I felt my whole career. Until I had my stroke and I, I couldn't. And this doesn't you, work as good. I I learned, yeah. I don't I don't want it to go, I don't want it to go this way. I don't want my arm to go that way. Right. My right elbow feels like it's the pivot point, so it stays. It feels like it pivots here and it pivots there. And I'm just working the club. I'm just nudging the club out in front of me here, and my hand stays like that, and I run into the ball. And then I go over here like this. There's been people who've looked at my sight who somehow think I want them to do this. They think this is tip the club out. No, that's not tip the club out. That's over, over forearm rotation. That would shut the face down. You're freaking dead from there. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody's a slicer, a chronic slicer, yeah. we might want them to feel that so they can finally feel what it feels like to not drag it through here. 
okay, but you're, you, you're not going to be stuck if the club is in front of your hands on the arc that is coming into the ball at waist high. Does that make sense? You can come as much as you want to come from the inside if the club's not behind your hands. You're not stuck. The club will go. When you feel stuck is when your arms and your body outrun this and you feel that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's when we get in trouble. And I wouldn't care where you were if that happened. So this is, this is yeah, this is where you used to get. So getting more from the inside with the club doing this, you start feeling like that, like the club's almost going to hit you in your right leg. Mm -hmm. But if you come, if your hands come way inside like this and the club's right there, it's, it, what's going to happen, it's going to go. You're, you're not going to be stuck. Come as much, turn, and come as much from the inside as you want. See, you're not stuck there. That doesn't feel stuck. Okay. So now I would, all I'm going to start doing is just, I'm just going to come down and just slap that thing with my left how arm. about How about strengthen your left hand a little bit? <laughs> so you keep freaking fighting me on that grip thing. No, I'm going to, here, I got it right there. <laughs> there it is. Well, you got, well, okay, yeah, that there. That's it? Yep. Now come in and the club over your hands and there's your little draw. You stand there all day hitting that. Divot's decent. Yeah.